Hey guys, it's Prime, aka Mike, um, back again. Uh, thank you for all the comments that you guys left. Sorry if I didn't get back to majority of y'all because I was pretty busy um, trying to build my own company and everything like that. And so I just came back to start doing videos again. Um, so uh, I've been getting a lot of requests for certain things. So I'm going to try to do a mixture in this video of like basically it's going to be uh, maintenance and optimization and just a couple of things just to keep the computer running well and like tweak it out a little bit so um, first like in my prime tips I always tell people that they should um, have a, a backup so first what we want to do is we always want to check our backup before we start like doing maintenance optimization so let's type in backup alright and then here as you can see that my last backup was on the 20th but uh, yours will be different depending on when you see the video and everything like that but now like mine is pretty recent but if yours isn't recent and uh, if you check up here if this is uh, almost full you might want to go in and manage the space so uh, I'm gonna show you real quick how to do that uh, you just click manage space wait for this to come up and then view backups in here you'll see a list of backups um, now if you have a whole bunch of them the obvious thing to do is to just hover over and delete it and then uh, it'll delete the older backups and then you can run a more current backup which is always good as well um, so that's pretty much it that um, and also like try to get external low, no lower than one terabyte but uh, nowadays they're cheap uh, you can get like two three four terabytes and uh, you'll get real good backups out of those and a lot of backups um, also in here as you see it says uh, system image uh, you might want to change this setting and keep only the latest version so this will help out with um, th your storage on your external alright so let's close out of that so one thing I always like to run first, uh, just like in my previous videos, is CCleaner. So let's double click on CCleaner as it comes up here. If yours says to update it, update it to the newest version, which is always good. And then we're going to run the, the cleaner now. And uh, yes, um, if you have things in your recycle bin, uncheck, uh, uncheck recycle bin over here. Um, if not, just delete everything. So this is the same thing, taking out all the cookies, all the temporary files that you don't need, all the junk in the background that we don't need. So this will like get it nice and cleaned out for you. Depending on how old uh, your computer is and how fast it is, the C Cleaner pretty runs on uh, on basic the speed of the computer. So here it's asking me uh, certain things. Uh, since I have Firefox open right now, doesn't it says, do you want to close it? So uh, just make sure you save all the things if you had something important. If not, just hit yes, and it will close out the application. Because you want to get rid of all the internet cache as well. That's pretty important. So let's just wait until this finish. Okay, so now we're done. All right, so uh, um, we can do registry as well. So we'll run for issues. Let's see if we find anything. Usually it finds like a whole bunch. So that's pretty quick usually too. So we'll just fix these issues. Um, you, It's good to back these up registries just in case. So you want to back this up. Usually I'll back it up to my external hard drive. So I'll go to this computer. Scroll down and then my backup drive. So I'll back up there. And then after that you fix all the selected issues. Now, um, I'm going to make another video if you guys need help uh, setting up your backups. Um, I'm going to make another video. It's probably going to be in my video after this to set up backups. Um, so just hold on. I know a lot of people ask about that as well. That'll probably be my next video, okay? So let's just wait for these issues to clear up. All right, so we're back. Uh, so just hit close, and we got all our issues done. All right, so let's close that out now. Um, my Malwarebytes is a little bit old. Um, if yours is more current, you can just open it up. But for the people that have the older version, just like me, we're going to open the Firefox or Google Chrome, whatever browser you use. Uh, I turned off my internet. Hold on one second, guys. All 
Alright, sorry about that. So let's go to Google. We're going to type in Malwarebytes. Alright, and then we're going to click on this link, Download Malwarebytes. So scroll down, we want the free version. Now I've been uh, telling people if you want to buy the premium version, that runs in the background. Um, it's up to you guys if you want to get that version. I like that version. Um, it's really up to you guys, but I know everyone likes free, so let's get the free one. Alright, save. So we click here. That run now if you're in a uh, Google Chrome you get a prompt at the bottom left you just click that and uh, just hit run alright so we hit next accept next 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 install <laughs> alright now if you installed Malwarebytes for the first time it's gonna say would you like to uh, start trial uh, just uncheck that and then hit launch so we don't need this anymore. So it's checking for updates now. Uh, this is very important. You always want to keep yours up to date. Now if you had a newer version, like I said before, um, just run the update and make sure it's on its current um, date, which is like whatever mine is going to be today so it's going to say July 23rd but it will say yours whenever you did yours so see so now it's going to actually do the update and after it's done it gives you the date which is right here which is good so now we're going to start the scan now alright so I'm going to pause the video and uh, I'll be back once this is completed okay guys so uh, now that uh, the malware bytes ran through um, it found 12, 22 items, which isn't too bad because I always clean my, my computer out, but yours might find a whole bunch. I've seen people say that they've seen hundreds of thousands of them. So just go through, make sure um, if you have any hacking software, make sure you uncheck them because this will remove it. Um, just so go through, read through it. Mine are all just like registry values and some are files, so I'm just going to remove all of these. And then, um, yes, you want to restart the computer. Um, so restart your computer and then uh, we'll pick up, we'll, we'll continue. Okay, so now once you restart your computer, now let's go back to Firefox. We're going to download another um, a tool that I like to use. Uh, it's called Hitman Pro. So let's type Hitman. Pro. and then uh, hit this one downloads now everyone usually has a 64-bit computer so if you if you have 32-bit get the 32-bit but if you have 64-bit hit 64 and then save just wait for it to download Oh, very important. Before we uh, install that, if you hit, if you use Hitman Pro before because of my previous videos, um, go. We have to delete uh, one of the keys because uh, it doesn't let you use it multiple times. So we have to go to the, to the C drive and then go to Programs Data. Now, if this isn't here to get your hidden files uh, uh, opened, uh, you have to go to View, go to Options. All right, then click view, and then you want to show hidden files. So select that, and then hit apply, and then OK. And then you'll see program data here. So then you scroll down, and you see Hitman Pro. And just right click and delete that. All right, and then go to your recycle bin, and then empty it within your recycle bin. Now once that's deleted, we can go and install Hitman Pro. This is only if you used it previously. So hit next. So you see how this says only for one time use. That's why we had to delete it before. So hit next. And now it's going to scan the computer. So we'll continue once this is done. Okay, guys. So now once it's done, same thing. You want to go through and make sure you don't have any, like, tools that you use that it's going to remove. See, like, I use uTorrent all the time. So I'm not going to have this get removed. I'm just going to ignore 
Um, yeah, these updates, I'm going to ignore that too. So everything else, I don't care. So hit next. Now it's going to create a little restore point just in case like something happens. All right. So everyone always asks me that they ask for your product key. So please watch this very closely. So it says activate free license. So click that. And now you want to make up a bogus email. I usually use like Bob2323 at yahoo.com. Like Bob2323 at yahoo.com. Just make up a bogus email twice and then that's it. Okay, so once you activate it, just it's going to remove all your stuff and then it's going to ask you to restart. So restart the computer after that and then uh, we'll pick off once you restart your computer. Alright, so now that we're back, uh, we just want to run one more scanner. Um, I like this scanner too. Uh, it's AdWare Cleaner, so type in ADW Cleaner. All right, and then get it from bleeping computer. Hit download now. All right, save file. And click it. Agree to it, and then just run the scanner. Okay, so once it's done scanning, you want to hit clean. And hit OK. Okay, so after once you hit it, um, it's going to say this is basically telling us that it's going to restart the computer. Um, so hit OK and then restart the computer. Okay, so once you restart your computer, we're going to check a couple of things to tweak out the computer. Uh, open up your browser. Uh, I'm going to do Firefox first. So we want to click here and go to add-ons. And then go to extensions. Any un like any useless things that you don't use in here, you should remove. Like uh I kind of use this, but I'm going to remove it just to show you guys. So you just remove that and if you have other like miscellaneous ones that you don't recognize, just take them out cuz uh a lot of add-ons you don't need. So close that one out. I'm going to show the Google Chrome users. So if you click on Google Chrome, You go to these three arrows up here, then you go to settings, then you go to extensions. So any like this is this is typical, but there should be like if you have like other ones that are infected, you just want to take those out as well. Um, also, what we want to do is we want to optimize our startup. So right click your taskbar, and then go to task manager, and then go to startup. So now we want to change like some of these that we don't want starting up. Like I don't need QuickBooks starting up, so I'm gonna disable. Don't need this starting up. Don't need HP Toolbox. Like uh, just anything that you don't need really to start up. Just uncheck it and then disable those, and then close that out. And then we're gonna go to Add and Remove Program. So right click the Start menu here, and then go to Programs and Features. So in programs and features, I usually just do it by uh, installed, like what day it was installed. So remove all useless programs that you don't use. Um, like I, I'm not going to use this anymore. This was a data recovery software. So I'm going to take that out. Just to give you an example how to remove things. So uh, yeah, just remove anything, other applications that you don't need. Uh, usually like toolbars. Um, usually like optimization stuff, like useless crap that people usually find on there and that you could take those out as well um, and then lastly that's about it uh, once you clean out the computer you should be fine um, also sorry there's one last thing you, should, you guys should do too since we deleted a lot of things we should do a disk defragmentation I like to use defragler so um, so go to filehippo.com And then here up top, what you want to do is type in defragler. All right, and then you just download it. Download latest version.
All right, and then you open it. You can close out the browser. Just hit next. Install. Uncheck that, and then run. So, so all you need to do is just run the defrag. Now this might take a while, so I'm going to end the video with this. Um, just let that run, and then when it's 100%, it's over. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave comments below. Thank you for watching. Please keep subscribing, um, and have a good day, guys.